This is Alan with the Grilling Network. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to reverse sear a tri-tip on your Traeger. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and smash that like button. As I mentioned, we're doing a reverse sear. You can definitely do this on any smoker, but today we're using our brand new Timberline 1300 with D2 technology. Let's get going. In preparation for today's cook, we're using the signature blend pellets from Traeger. It's going to add amazing flavor to our tri-tip. Here we have two beautiful tri-tips weighing in about two and a half pounds each. When it comes time to trim and remove the silver skin, take note of the direction of the grain as this becomes important after it's done cooking and time to slice these bad boys up. Now let's season up our tri-tips. First we'll be using a rub from Traeger. It's their prime rib rub. It's primarily made up of garlic and rosemary. When applying the rub, make sure you evenly apply and making sure you hit all sides. It's important to let it rest for 20 minutes before applying our second coat. While our tri-tip's hanging out inside, let's get to the next step, and that's firing up our smoker. For that, I'm going to be using the wire fire feature of my Timberline 1300. It can't get any easier. I've created a custom cook for the tri-tip. We're going to be using the super smoke mode at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going to impart a deeper smoky flavor and get us an infamous smoke ring. Let's do that now. Hit OK. And for safety reasons, you still need to hit the Ignite button. The rest of it will be controlled from our phone. I've also placed the grates in the lower position in preparation for the searing part, which we'll be doing later on. This takes roughly 15 minutes. That gives us time to get our tri-tip. It's been 20 minutes. Our Traeger is up to temp to 225 degrees Fahrenheit using the super smoke mode. Our tri-tips have sweated. They look and smell amazing. And it's time for a second application of rub. For that, I'm using Holy Cow from Me Church. Been using this stuff for years. It's phenomenal, an absolute must try. As always, let's give it a good dusting on all sides. And we'll let it sweat for another 20 minutes. Since I'm doing a reverse sear on these tri-tips, pulling them off at the right temperature is critical. And for me, that's 115 degrees Fahrenheit. To help me aid in that, I'm using the probe that I've inserted into my Traeger. Once it reaches 115 degrees Fahrenheit, it will alarm the Traeger and my phone, letting me know it's time to pull it off. I'll be placing the probe in the thickest part of the tri-tip. <laughs> This should take roughly 45 minutes to an hour. See you back soon. The alarm on my Traeger and my phone have gone off, letting me know that the tri-tips are ready to be taken off. Let's do that now. And that smells amazing. We'll loosely tent these and let them rest while we bump up the temperature of our Traeger. Let's do that now. I'm going to crank this up to 500 degrees and with the new D2 technology it should only take roughly 5 to 10 minutes. See you back soon. Our tri-tips were loosely tinted with aluminum foil while our Traeger was coming up to temp. I was super impressed on how fast it did it. It went from 225 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 500 degrees in a matter of about 8 minutes. That new D2 technology is amazing. Now let's toss these bad boys on for that sear. We're going to do about 5 minutes per side. That is piping hot. We'll 
We'll give it a good push. Good push for those grill, those grill marks. See you back in five minutes. It's been roughly five minutes and time to flip these tri-tips. Look at those grill marks. Again, a good press. Man, this looks and smells amazing. Look at these grill marks. Who says you can't get a grill marks off of a Traeger? Using our trusty thermal pin, we are hitting 131, 132. We'll let these rest for a couple more minutes before we slice into them. Man, this is super juicy. As I mentioned earlier, you want to pay attention to the direction of the grain as you want to cut against it for the best chew. This meat right here has a grain going this way, so obviously we want to slice this way. And this section right here has grain going like this, so we want to cut like this. Enough talking, let's cut into this tri-tip. Man, this is super, super juicy. Don't know if you can tell, it's got an amazing smoke ring. Good tear, let's try, give it a try. Wow. That is absolutely phenomenal. As I said, absolutely phenomenal. Let's give it another try. Man, that is super juicy. You could definitely taste the smoke coming from the Traeger and these rubs took this to another level. If you haven't already tried reverse sear tri-tip, it's an absolute must. I wanna thank Traeger for helping making this possible and you guys for stopping by. Please leave comments and questions below and we'll see you on the next one.